Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all know my slogan. I don't know it all, but I know what I've been through. Now, before we get into this video, please make sure you head on down to Instagram and follow us on our official Instagram page at hookah anonymous underscore. All right, we're able to be a little more uncensored, a little more explicit, and pretty much share content freely without running the risk of having our channel terminated. So, once again, make sure you head on down to Instagram right now and follow us at hookah anonymous underscore. All right, now let's get into what you guys came here to see. Now, your boy Dirk. AKA Dirk Yo, AKA Smirk. Alright. Now, I'm pretty sure everybody see the video floating around social media at this point of him approaching a fan, speaking to a fan in his face, looking real aggressive, and then he pushes him. Now, a lot of people are saying it's due to the fact that the fan, or whatever the case may be, went to the show and he was disrespecting King Vaughn. Right? Now, if you're like me, you're sitting there wondering how or why was Dirk able to see this man out of everybody disrespect Vaughn? Like, how was it possible? You know, it's a bunch of people there. How was he able to point him out and say that he disrespected King Vaughn anyway? If he's shouting, whatever he's doing, all right? Sometimes I be thinking these moves are just clout moves and it's weird because at the end of the day, man... <laughs> First of all, the fan, you pay money to pretty much come there and troll. You see what I'm saying? It's kind of weird on the fan's behalf. This isn't the first time and it's not going to be the last time a fan or whoever go to one of these guys' shows and does something weird just to get a reaction out of these artists. All right? Sometimes these artists fall for it. Sometimes they don't. You know, they're smart enough to just let it go. But in some cases, in most cases, we get this. Now... A lot of people are saying that the reason why Dirk pretty much pushed him and did all that was because he disrespected King Vaughn. However, others are saying that it's because the uh, kid actually had an NBA young boy shirt and was waving it while he was in the crowd. And that makes a little more sense because how else would he get Lil Dirk's attention? You know, it's a bunch of people screaming, it's music playing all everywhere. So at the end of the day, of course, you know, him waving a shirt that has NBA Youngboy picture in it would strike up, you know, uh, the attention of Lil Dirk and all that. So that actually makes more sense. Now it gets interesting because Dirk takes it upon himself. We can't see what he's saying to the fan or whatever, but it's Dirk saying to him, and at the end of whatever he was saying, he pushed him. Now this could have went one or two ways. Dirk is pretty lucky that the kid didn't have enough sense <laughs> to flop on the floor. Because I'm going to tell you right now, anybody with a brain that's looking for a quick come up, that was the easiest lawsuit they could have gotten in their lives. All right. Dirk got to be a little more smarter. At the end of the day, you, that's not going to be the first or the last person that's going to sit there and troll you. So once again, I don't know whether it was fake or real, whatever it was, you got to learn to contain your composure, man. Maintain it. Um. And these are kids. At the end of the day, young boy, he has a crazy fan base. I don't know where these kids get his music from, the liking to love his music so much all over YouTube. However, he has a crazy core fan base, and these kids are willing to crash out and do whatever. But Dirk, being a person he is, he has to know that and just you know maintain composure, or else it could get worse. Now, if the kid was smart, like I say, he would have fumbled on the floor flop did a lebron or whatever the case may be he could have got an easy bag right there sued him for you know whatever so that's pretty much what it is man i don't it wasn't nothing about nothing about king vaughn i see people in the comments talking about slide for vaughn oh he he called it sliding for vaughn you know people just being funny at the end of the day this is social media any and everybody's gonna have their own opinion you can't fix that. You can't change that. And you will lose your mind trying to do so. All right. So um, pretty much that's it. Y'all know. Like I said, I think more so it was the whole situation with the shirt. The kids swinging the whole NBA young boy shirt. And that's what got Lil Dirk's attention and made him go over there and do what he did. Now, I'm sure that this was probably the best thing that ever happened to this kid <laughs> with his trolling. So I'm sure a video or something is going to come out of him explaining what Dirk was saying and whatever and he's gonna have his 15 minutes of fame and then you know it's gonna blow over however that's what it is man y'all jump in the comments let me know y'all feel about this do y'all think dirk should have pushed him 
or whatever the case may be, or you should have just let it roll. All right, jump in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you're notified every time we drop new content. And remember, as long as you keep on watching, I'm going to keep on dropping. And I'm out.